Well, we want to turn now to the controversial digital currency, Bitcoin. It's exploding in popularity as companies across America are starting to accept the virtual payment. But lawmakers on Capitol Hill are just scratching their heads, having a very hard time coming up with a plan to regulate and tax the new money, mainly because, well, a lot of them, let's face it, they don't really understand how it works. Critics also say that it's used for drug smuggling and money laundering, but it's not all negative reviews out there. And I want to bring in the guy who's helping small businesses bloom by accepting Bitcoin as payment. We want to welcome Farbod Sharaka. He is co-founder and CEO of Bloom Nation. And Farbod, you've brought some flowers along yeah. with you. Explain how the flowers fit into this whole Bitcoin theme. Well, it's kind of the opposite of drugs. We're turning it into a beautiful thing of flowers. So for us, this is an opportunity to tap into a whole new customer base, tech-savvy young people that want to send flowers online and want to use Bitcoin to send them. Why would I want to use Bitcoin to send flowers like this instead of cash? So for one, Bitcoin is a lot more secure. So a lot of people are afraid of it. And even Bloom Nation, as when we started evaluating it, we thought it's kind of a scary area to play in. But we soon realized it's, it's more secure than credit cards. So it's an easy choice. Right, and, and security clearly right now is a big question. You, you just saw the massive celebrity hack, all of these celebrity yes. photos hacked into, questions about how secure the cloud is. How does Bitcoin differentiate in terms of its security from something like a PayPal or cash or a credit card? So the interesting thing is in terms of in the encryption, uh, it's more secure. So they use a higher way of verifying all the transactions that are happening on Bitcoin. But more importantly, it's giving our local businesses an opportunity to tap into this tech savvy world. And so they don't have to be afraid of it because we're helping them process these payments for them. There's also, I mean, clearly there's, there's a handful of people and more than a handful of people who hold Bitcoin right now. Yeah. And they're looking to spend that Bitcoin. Yeah. And, it, and they probably are feeling, some of them, like, well, I don't know what's going to happen to Bitcoin, so I should probably spend it right now. Yeah, and, and in order to get Bitcoin to be used in the more mainstream, it requires businesses like BloomNation.com to, to accept them and to support it. So given that it's kind of a disruptor to the whole cash and credit card industry, and Bloom Nation is a disruptor, it was a perfect fit for us to support that uh, currency and allow it to grow. What happens to your business if Bitcoin crashes? So the good thing is that we partnered with a payment wallet called Coinbase. So they process all the Bitcoins for us. We convert it immediately into US currency. So even the florists that are accepting Bitcoins through Bloom Nation, they don't have to be worried about anything at all. It's immediately transferred into US dollars. Coinbase, by the way, a friend of RealBiz. We've had conversations with them right here. Yeah. For the other businesses like yourself who are the first movers on this, who are incorporating Bitcoin into the model, how significant is it to your business plan to be some of those first adopters and to potentially grab that market, especially if it gets bigger? It's really important for us because, again, we're an innovative company, so we want to we want to partner with innovative buyers. And so by supporting it early on, we're getting a lot of adoption from these tech-savvy uh, Bitcoin users. And ironically, if you, they actually end up spending a lot more than an average credit card user. Hmm, so how much more? About 50% more. 50% more yeah, with their so, Bitcoin. Yeah, because I think they want to support they want to support the ecosystem, and we're happy to help them support it. So. Where are you seeing the biggest use of Bitcoin and, and these deliveries going? So it's actually spread all over the country. We have over 3,000 local florists that are selling on BlueNation.com. So they're able to, and this is a perfect example, like this is, this, these designs are from uh, G over at Gotham Florist right here in New York City. So uh, a purchaser can go on, search on BlueNation.com for, for unique stuff like this and be able to place their order using Bitcoin. So these are from where? This is from Gotham Florist here in New York City. And yeah. if I wanted, so let's say I walked into Gotham Florist here yeah. in New York City and yeah. I said, I'd like to pay for this in Bitcoin. She'll be able to process the transaction through bloomnation.com. So it's a great opportunity for her to have the ability to create that kind of customer base that never existed before. How do you grow this business? Uh, the flower business. <laughs> we make it as easy as possible to send flowers online. Because, I mean, realistically, it sucked sending flowers online before Bloom Nation. It was a very awkward scenario. You would order something online, you weren't sure what the picture was going to look like, and you never know when it was going to be delivered. And with Bloom Nation, these florists are listing their own real images. So you're seeing real stuff just like this, unique stuff that you can't find anywhere else. Like they're using mint and kale and, and uh, birchwood Wait, bases. Wait, is this kale? Yeah. So this is really unique stuff. You don't find this anywhere else. And because was these artists... Was that a tomato? 
Uh, it's actually a <laughs> mini pumpkin. <laughs> a we're, mini pumpkin. We're celebrating fall already, so we're ready for that season. Uh, but this is just a unique place to find this stuff. So the idea not only disrupt multiple industries by enabling Bitcoin use, but clearly disrupt the floral industry by trying to do things very differently than some of the big players out there. Yeah, the idea is innovation. It's an old industry. It's been around forever. People sent flowers back in the day. They're, they're going to send it forever. So we want to bring back you know, the, the fun and, and excitement and, and use technology to get that point. So you're able to see real photos. You can even take, we even allow the florist to snap a photo of the arrangement before it goes out the door. So as a florist, you're able to connect with your consumer and show them your work before it even goes out to the recipient. So it's just a whole new way of thinking about how to do flower delivery. And how about the florists themselves? What have they seen happen to their own business since dealing with Bloom Nation? Huge changes. So you know now florists are able to connect with their customers. They're able to show off their creative talents. And they couldn't do this before. Other sites like 1-800-Flowers and MTD they stuck them with a catalog where they have to fill recipes and they kind of felt like employees of these services. We're letting them show off their talents, which ultimately creates a competitive advantage for them. And florists are thriving through our, webs our, our platform. So BloomNation.com is a, this whole like, community that's come together, almost like an Etsy for flowers. Almost like an Etsy yeah. for flowers. With Etsy and with some of these other services that enable so many small businesses, as a consumer, it can be overwhelming. Mm -hmm the whole idea of curation is yeah. still going to be a question. Is that an area that you plan on moving into? Yeah, as we're getting more and more florists to join this platform, curation becomes very critical for us. But with that said, we have some great florists and artists and florists that are, are showing off their talents, and we're excited to have that opportunity. Well, thank you so much, Farbod Sharaka. And thank it's you. Bloom Nation. Yes, bloomnation.com. If, if, if a florist is out there watching, how do they get on board? So you just go to BloomNation.com, there's a join button, create a free profile and you're up and running and have some of the best tools in the industry to build your business. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Great to see you. Thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks for being on Real Biz. Thank you.